good afternoon everybody welcome to my channel we are learning it's fun today we shall be learning the newton raphson's method and as usual we shall be going it by way of example if you are new on this channel please kindly subscribe to this channel and uh, if you are old thank you for staying with us and uh, we expect you to drop a comment after this video and uh, we will give a response to that today we want to solve this uh, problem using the newton raphson's method and the question says solve the function f of x is equals to x cubed plus x minus 1 equal to 0 using the newton raphson's method by the way nrm means newton raphson's method give answer to three decimal places after five iterations um first thing i would want us to do is to draw up a a little um uh value table for our five iterations we have here the xn and here the approximate values of x so we begin with x naught and then we have our x1 x2 x3 x4 and the last uh, approximate x5 that is the fifth iteration is going to be um, a task for viewers to uh, carry out and then without giving any proof i will just give you straight away the formula for newton raphson's method and it goes thus we see x n plus 1. Assuming we have a particular xn and then we want to do the um, up the next approximate, that means the next value that is n plus 1. If n was uh, 0, 0 plus 1 will of course be 1. So the next approximate will be x1. So we want to look for x1, assuming our x is nothing. So the next approximate of the value of x will be equals to xn which is the previous approximate the previous value of x the minus function of x n divided by the derivative of function of that function of xn so that is uh, what we refer to as newton raphson's method the formula for newton raphson We call this Newton Raphson method formula. Raphson's method formula. So, this is what we are going to be using iteratively to achieve the aim. Uh, permit me to share this page into two so I can have more space to work and then. Uh, where I'm going to start from is that I'm going to assume my x0 to be equal to 0. My x0 to be equal to 0. So I just here, I say, assume x0 to be equal to 0. That means what I'm trying to say here is that the root of this function, of this function, uh, I'm I, I'm assuming the root is zero, so from my x. So I uh, that is an approximate root or a a an as a guest root. So from here, I'm going to take it up and begin and continue to um, perform iterations until I get to an a very uh, good or a near perfect uh, or a near accurate um, approximate of the root of that function. So assume, after having assumed this, I need to find to evaluate this uh, the value of 
f of xn and I know that my f of x according to the question is x cube plus x minus 1 equals 0 that is my f of x so my f of x naught will be equals to my naught x naught is what is 0 so I'm going to use 0 here so 0 cube plus 0 minus 1 is equal to minus 1 is equal to minus 1 that's my f of x naught so I have this value to be minus 1 and then I need to evaluate this also let me name this 1 and 2 the function f of but I need to differentiate find the derivative of f of x so if f of x is equal to x cubed plus x minus 1 then f prime of x is going to give me no by power rule I have 3x squared plus 1 3x squared plus 1 as my derivative so uh, if I'm going to do f prime of xn I'm just going to introduce so f prime of x naught therefore will give me putting the value of x naught which is equal to 0 into this function will give me 3 x 3 0 squared uh, plus 1 and that will ultimately give me 0 plus 1 and I have 1 as my f prime of x naught so now I'm going to use these two values these two values and this in the Newton Raphson's uh, formula and here, here I go I see this is my first iteration so what I have is my x1 will be equals to x naught minus f of x naught divided by f prime of x naught okay so what I have I know my what my x naught is like I have said I have I guessed it to be 0 minus I know what my f of x naught is I have calculated it to be minus 1 so I have minus 1 divided by I know what the value of my f of f prime of x naught is and I've calculated it out to be 1 so if I do this this is going to give me minus minus 1 over 1 and that will give me 1 over 1 is equals to 1 so my uh, x1 is equals to one and here is it my x1 is equal to one so I just quickly fill that into my value table now what this means is that I, I, I have guessed the root of this function to be zero initially but I have calculated a better approximate to be one now I need to check the next approximate which is x2 so having gotten my x1 to be equal to 1 I need to approximate the value of my x2 and then uh, I simply use the formula x2 is going to be equal to now this is my second iteration my x2 will be equal to x1 minus f of x1 divided by 
f prime of x1. Now remember, I need to evaluate my f of x1 quickly, and that will that is f of 1. So I put f of 1 into the function. So I have 3 into My f of f1 is x cubed plus 1, that is 1 cube plus 1 minus 1. So this is 1 plus 1 minus 1, 2 minus 1, and that will give me a 1. So my f of x1 is also 1. What about my f prime of x1? That will give me 3 into 1 squared plus 1. That will give me 3 multiplied by 1 plus 1. That will give me 3 plus 1. That will give me 4. So using these two values, these two values as f of 1 of x1 and f prime of x1 in my interruptions formula i'm going to have i'm going to have x1 my x2 now will be equals to x1 which is 1 minus f of x1 which is also 1 divided by f prime of x1 which is 4 so I have 1 minus 1 over 4 and punching 1 over 4 into the calculator will give us 0 0.25 so I have 1 minus 0 0.25 that effectively gives me 0 0.25 Seven, five, and that is my second uh, approximate x2 is equals to 0 0.75 so I quickly fix that into my value table 0 0.75 without wasting much time I go for the third iteration And that, that is where I'm going to find my x3 using the value of x2 that I got in the second iteration. So my x3 is going to be derived using x2 minus f of x2 divided by f prime of x2. Notice how I'm using the previous approximation to derive the next approximation. Notice how I'm using the second, the next, the previous approximation, the previous approximation to derive the next approximation. So that is what we call an iterative method. That's what we call iterations. So by that, by that, I'm going to evaluate my f of x2, like we've been doing before. f of x2 will be equals to 2 cubed plus 2 minus 1. Oh, pardon me, that will be wrong. f of x2 will be 0 0.75. Of course, we know the value of x2 here is 0 0.75, not 2. 0 0.75 cubed plus 0 0.75 minus 1. That is the value of x2. So here I have 0 0.75 cubed will give me 0 point 0 0.4219. Uh, then I have plus 0 0.75 minus 1. 
and that will give me this will give me zero point one seven one nine so f prime of x2 will be equal to 3 into 0 0.75 squared plus 0 0.75 sorry plus 1 plus 1 and that will give me 2.6 875 2.6875 so using these two values in Newton Raphson's formula I can derive my x3 and my x3 will be my x3 will be equal to x2 which is 0 0.75 minus this value 0 0.1719 divided by 2.6875 and that this division will give me 0 0.75 minus this division will give me 0 0.06 for zero when you minus this from this that means that is my value for x3 that will be 0 0.6860 and that is the value the approximate value the third approximate value for the root of the function which i'm going to fix into my value table x3 is uh, 0 0.6860 0 0.6860 so at this point i like you to pause the video and see if you can derive the value of x4 and x5 give it a, give it a try when we come back we'll see it together i want to assume you have given it a try and um, Let's see it together. If you have the answer, please drop it in the comment section below. So um, this is my fourth iteration and I have the uh, formula for it using the previous approximate of x, that is x3 that, that we got here at 0 0.6860 to derive a next approximate of x. So having done this, I have evaluated offline the uh, value of x3 and I got 0.0089. You may cross check that uh, uh, and this uh, on your own. You may, you may cross check. This is 4, by the way, 4118. So you may cross check this on your own. I have done that offline. So I, I will need to evaluate all of this and then I will have something like this. 0 0.6860 minus this division gives me 0 0.0037 and when you do this a subtraction your x4 the value for your x4 should be uh, 0 0.6823 and that is the fourth approximate which i'm going to fill into my data table 0 0.6823 0 0.6823 now i uh, i'm going to stop there for today i'm going to stop there and then we look at um the fifth iteration which i've left blank deliberately i want you to give it a try and drop your answers in the comment section below i will uh, give a response when i see your comments thank you very much for watching my channel again today i am encouraged by your comments by your subscription please if you have not subscribed do so by uh pressing the comment uh, the subscription button below and then uh, we will be together next time in the video thank you